so far so good we have already our reader okay but let's go back to our like core concept now we have the reader and maybe we are going to need a processor okay and a writer writer always we're gonna need but maybe we we are going to need a processor so as we are trying to uh, segregate okay uh, our like domain object with our dto maybe we are going to need a processor just to 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 map okay or maybe to to filter to do something there okay so now let's create our processor before creating processor let's create our like um uh, entity okay sales info the first one was like sales info dto but it's gonna be uh, a class okay it was a record now uh, because we don't need to 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 apply any any rule there okay uh, example if you are using like uh, ddd with no anemic like with rich domain so maybe you you need to apply some logic here so that's why it's not gonna be a record and we are need we, we are going to use the sales info to persist uh, our um, like sales into database okay so now this is gonna be like an entity okay uh maybe here we're going to put it along let's say like id because an entity needs an id let's put it a string it's gonna be like a product then we need a sub object like string uh what we have there um oh oh, oh. um yeah here seller seller id price city yeah so uh we we are going to create your seller then um we are going to add oops integer uh seller id okay then we are going to use a double for price as i remember of course the price or money should be like a, a big decimal something like i don't care let's just keep uh, it simple uh, string city and the last one was category uh, string like category category so uh, let's make it uh, as a entity okay so it's it is an entity so it needs an id uh, let's just here generate value um, strategy generate type auto and let's just use the long box here in order to uh, uh, give us like a getters and setters but let's just create it let's just add it data okay so now we have our uh, entity so we are going to create our processor in order to map okay the sales info into sales okay so now let's create our processor maybe we can just add here a package processor and then we are going to create here uh, the sales info item processor yeah um, it's too big but yeah let's keep it like that um so it's gonna be a component because i want to inject it later uh so um yeah that's it so in order to to create in order to have our uh, sales info um item processor as processor we are going to use the spring batch interface which is item processor okay so as we can see here the item processor receives an input and return an output item okay so uh, in our case uh, the input gonna be the sales info dto the output gonna be the sales info itself or the, the the sales info which is the class that we are going to use to persist into database okay because as you can as we can see here um 
we have here like uh, the, 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 the item pass from item reader then processor then it's going to go to the uh, item writer okay uh, processor is optional but we are going to use it um, so in that order let's just now implement uh, the methods okay so it's gonna receive okay it's gonna receive uh, the, the, the DTO okay and we are going to return the sales info so in that order let's just create here um, the mapper okay sales um, info mapper sales info mapper so let's create our uh, mapper class um, not in processor maybe here mapper um, it's not a class it's gonna be an interface because we are going uh, uh, to use um, we are going to use the map struct okay in that order in order to use map struct as you all uh, you guys all know uh, we have to annotate it as a, a mapper okay so we are using spring so in my case I'm gonna use component model as spring this is map struct uh, stuff so you don't have to, to worry about that so now we are going to create our mapper method which gonna receive a, a DTO and return us the, the, the our entity so in our case it's gonna return uh, the sales info so map uh, to maybe let's create let's just uh, write it map to entity so in our case let's receive sales info DTO so um, map structs works well but example we have here uh, the product sellers but some fields from our um, from our uh, like the source uh, doesn't exist in, 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 the, in the target maybe I'm just gonna use it and map it target policy I'm gonna say ignore so if you understand very well about map struct just ignore this, this step that I'm creating here so let's go back to our um, processor so uh, what we are going to do uh, as we are uh, what why do we need processor in processor we can filter data okay we can enrich data we can do any kind of validation in processor right so example if an item uh, is invalid you just return now if it's valid you return what we expected okay uh, so in our case let's just use the sales mapper and let's uh, uh, map it into uh, entity okay so in order to work once again Lombok uh, require required required args constructor and then let's inject it via constructor okay so uh, now we have our processor so that's that's good 